What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another video. Today I want to talk to you about 1, 5, and 10 ounce silver bars, but really quick, just in case you're new, make sure to subscribe for daily videos. Also make sure to subscribe to my second channel, which is my backup channel for exclusive silver content and the brand new Integrity Test Pawn Shop video. And if you want to help support the channel by getting some DYDSS merchandise, we got t-shirts and hoodies, a bunch of gear that's raising funds and awareness for different charity organizations. Any and all merchandise can be found by clicking the first link in the description section down below. Thank you in advance. It's more than appreciated. But today, I wanted to talk about something a little bit different. I know the last couple of days I've made several references to this one ounce silver sunshine bar that's because it's brand new and there's a funny story behind it but now that I have a one ounce silver sunshine bar which I've never had before I've always had the five and the ten I wanted to sit down and I want to make a video talking about all three together because I've made videos about this, I've made videos about this, I've made videos about this, I've made videos about these two but I've never made one about all three and the reason I wanted to do that is because this one's brand new and I got it for a really, really fantastic price. And if I were to get it online or if I were to get it almost most other places, I probably would have paid a higher premium for this little Silver Sunshine bar. And I see a lot of comments from people saying that they would rather have, you know, a ridiculous amount of one ounce increments as opposed to one piece of a larger denomination piece of silver and I'm kind of in the same boat as a majority of you and I got this one for myself so pretty much right in front of me I have my very first one ounce my very first five ounce and my very first ten ounce silver sunshine bar I've gotten more over the months but this is the only one of the one ounces that I have this one that I got myself I think I got it for on a Black Friday sale or deal that was going on I think on I don't know, JM or Atmex or something like that. And this one I got as a Christmas present to myself. Yes, I ordered it in early December. I left that thing in the box until Christmas Day. It was my Christmas present to myself, and I was really excited about it. That was my very first 5-ounce and my very first 10-ounce denomination Silver Sunshine bar. And to be honest with you, I'm pretty sure Sunshine is probably the only type of bar that I'm going to get if I'm going to be getting a a 5 or maybe at least the, the 10 ounce. I don't know if I would go 10 ounces or above from a different mint just because Sunshine is just it's so respected. It's just so known and recognizable. It has that higher level of notoriety as I always talk about. If I were to go with a mint or a bar that people are unfamiliar with, if and when the day comes where I want to sell my silver or a portion of my silver or a percentage of my silver, my potential buyers might not be able to recognize what I have to offer. Which is why, in all areas, I try to go with the highest level of notoriety possible, typically also shooting for the lowest possible premium which is why I'm always bouncing around from site to site to site, trying to get the most silver for my dollars, trying to get the most money for my currency, trying to get the most wealth for my debt, trying to get the most metal for my paper. It's kind of weird when you word it that way, but that's what I try to do. If I see that one website, one online precious metal dealer is offering this, while another one is offering the same thing, but maybe the premium is a little bit lower, you know, I try to be a, a smart shopper in all ways that I can, but it's not just bars. I don't really stack rounds anymore, but if I were going to stack rounds, it would absolutely be the silver buffalo, just like I said before, because that higher level of notoriety. Lucky for me, I live in the greatest country in the world. I live in America. So when it comes to coins, I got the American Eagles. I'm stacking the coin of my country, which just so happens to be... I believe the number one most recognizable coin in the world with the Canadian Maple Leaf probably coming in a close second, which is second in command when it comes to the coins that I stack. So pretty much coins, rounds, and bars, I always try to shoot for the highest level of notoriety. I tr always try to think long term. I don't just 
get what I like, which a lot of people like recommend do. Just like, oh yeah, just just buy whatever you like, buy whatever you think looks good. If that's what they want to do, that's fine. And from time to time, that's what I'll do, just for a little bit of, you know, just for fun. But I'm a long-term thinker. I've only been doing this for a year and a half, so I don't want to come across as a long time stacker. I've only been doing this for a short while, but I am a long-term thinker. I try to think a couple decades ahead. I try to think what will sell the best, what will people recognize, what will people want. And I always just fall back to sunshine bars. And it's cool because the new ones have that code right here. So you can pretty much scan it. This one does not. This is the older one. This is the original. But this one has a pretty funny story behind it. I've made two videos in the past two days briefly mentioning it. And I also put a video up on my second channel of the entire Integrity Test Pawn Shop Edition. So there's three videos showing and explaining everything that went on regarding how I got this and the story behind it. And, you know, with the first pawn shop that I went into was unbelievable, to say the least. So I'm not going to reiterate myself. If you want to go check out this video, it will be linked in the description over on my second channel. But I thought it was pretty cool. And by the way, this is not for me. I am not keeping this. But I thought it was pretty cool. I thought it was kind of funny. I said in my original video when I first brought this thing home, I was like, it's it, it's kind of funny. It's like the father, the mother, and the son or something like that. I don't know. But I want you guys to let me know in the comments, what is your favorite denomination of silver? Me personally, it's one ounce. Not necessarily bars. I'm talking about coins. When it comes to bars... I prefer 10 ounces. Five is kind of like a happy medium. And I, to be honest with you, I, I'm not really that big of a fan of the five ounce. It's not really like exactly what I like. I mean, I, I like the one ounce. It's a nice, nice small little bar. But next to the one ounce and the five ounce, like they, they look so similar. I mean, obviously not from the side. This is a, skinny slim well this is big boy but if you were to put the five and the ten next to each other that's a really big difference so i kind of wish the five ounce was a little bit slimmer but taller if you know what i mean maybe instead of going up to here maybe you go up to here or something i don't know i mean not that it really matters but aesthetically i wish it was a. Uh, I guess i wish the dimensions were a little bit different but at the end of the day it doesn't really matter ten ounce is definitely my favorite larger denomination. I can't really see myself going above 10 ounces. And the reason for that is because once again, I'm a long time thinker, long term thinker. And let's just say silver were to quadruple in price. Who is going to pay $60 an ounce when you have a, I don't know, a 25 ounce bar or kilo bar or anything bigger than that even i mean sure you might be able to sell it but it might be incredibly difficult so i try to think of it that way so a vast majority of my stack actually almost all of my stack like 95 percent of my stack consists of one ounce increments usually coins not usually rounds not usually bars usually coins some five ounces, and in the future, I would like to continue stacking as many tens as possible if I ever feel like getting a larger denomination piece of silver. So let me know in the comment section down below, what is your favorite denomination of silver? Do you prefer one, five, ten, bigger than ten, or do you prefer fractional, like junk silver, which is less than an ounce? Let me know in the comment section down below, and if you guys enjoyed the video, please hit the like button. If you guys like me, make sure to subscribe for new videos every single day, 365 days a year. Also, make sure to subscribe to my second channel, which is my backup channel for exclusive precious metal content. There are three new silver and gold themed vlog style videos over there, as well as the brand new pawn shop integrity test. Anything and everything precious metal related that I don't put on my main channel, I toss up on my second channel, and I have two channels for a reason. It's just in case. 
Link in the description. And if you want to help support the channel in the biggest possible way, please consider getting yourself some DYDSS merchandise. We got t-shirts and hoodies, a bunch of gear that's raising funds and awareness for different charity organizations. Any and all merchandise can be found by clicking the first link in the description section down below. Thank you in advance. It's more than appreciated. And I want you guys to let me know in the comments section down below what is your favorite denomination of silver? Do you like the one ounces, the coins, the rounds, the bars that are one ounce? Do you like five ounces, ten ounces, kilo bars, anything smaller? Do you prefer fractional rounds and bars? Do you prefer 90% constitutional silver, which is kind of like an awkward number because it's not an exact one ounce or half ounce or quarter ounce or anything like that? Let me know in the comment section down below anything and everything silver. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you tomorrow. And remember, don't you dare stop smiling. Peace.